Hello, this is Tyler. This is the Rust Developer Notes, and this is the beginning of a series on tutorials in Move It 2. Um, Move It 2 has a tutorials page. It is under the picnic.ai URL. It's the company I work for. We do all sorts of awesome robotics development. If you're using Move It and you're looking for a job, you should look, uh, you should contact us. Also, if you're using Move It, and you need help on your project, you should contact us. All these awesome companies we've worked for, um, we're solving cool problems with uh, robotic arms and other forms of manipulators requiring planning and move it. So I'm gonna go back to the tutorials. The point of this video series, before we get started, is to walk through the tutorials, but also to find issues with the tutorials and fix them. And I'll show you that process it should be educational and helpful to show you how to contribute and how you can be part of this community and get started using MoveIt. So before we get started, uh, Spring Irma Panda is the go-to robot for tutorials. You'll see a lot of that. Um, and we need to get started. Uh, one, of the, one thing to point out, right, uh, the tutorial website is a Git repo itself. Click on this link right here, it takes you to the README. This Git repo builds into this website. It also has a bunch of code examples in it, and it is a ROS package in of itself. Um, and to get started, we're gonna use Foxy, which is the latest long-term support release of ROS. And also there's a Foxy release of Move It. There are two other versions, and we'll get into why you might use those. Um, in follow on videos, there's a galactic release and there's a rolling release. Right now, Foxy is about a year old and it has some like pretty major known bugs. Uh, and for that reason, you might want to use a newer version of ROS, but for our purposes, it'll work fine. So we're gonna get started. We are gonna go to the getting started page. And we got to install a bunch of stuff. So the first thing you got to do is install ROS to Foxy. Um, oh, my browser crashed. I'll restart my browser. Restore the session. OK, first thing you got to do is install ROS to Foxy. Um, this walks you through how to do it. Uh, the short story is that you want to be on Ubuntu 20.04, like I am right here, Focal. And this is a version of Ubuntu you want to be on for all versions of Rust 2 right now. Um, they're all targeting that. And you walk through this, and basically you just copy a bunch of the stuff into your browser and get set up. But um, I already have it set up on my machine. If you have issues with this, then reach out to the authors of this. This is another one of these uh, tutorial websites that is a Git repo. So you can click on this, and you can contribute to it, you can ask questions of the authors. So that is how you get Foxy installed. All right, so we're gonna install these various tools. Oh, my browser right here, or my terminal window. I use Kitty, I really like Kitty. Um, it's my favorite terminal emulator and um, it's got a lot of cool features. I also really like ZSH and that's, so that's what I'm using. So uh, we gotta install some stuff with apt. Uh, Python 3 Rostep 2. So Rostep is this, all right, it's already installed. Rostep is this tool that uh, helps find Rost dependencies and install them okay, using the um, packaging system that Rost uses. So Rostep needs to be updated. Um, for updating Rostep, we need to update apt. Uh, all right, app is up. Uh, and just to make sure we're really up to date, we're going to do a dist upgrade. It looks like there's three packages. There's a whole bunch of supposedly unused packages anymore, and I should clean that up at some point. All right, we need to install the Colcon common extensions. Uh, app install Python 3 Colcon common extensions now yeah, already installed and then we need bcs tool 
All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of a diversion, right? We just installed the Colcon common extensions and I'm gonna show you a power user tip and it's it's Colcon Mixin. So how do you get Colcon Mixin set up? So you go over here, uh, just Google for it. Um, and this is the repo I think you want. And you're gonna copy and paste these two things. And I'll show you how awesome Mixin is in a bit after we get it set up. All right, that one's already set up, and then we're going to copy the update default. Um, Mixin is a way of adding, uh, think of them like aliases for commands in Colcon. Later in the tutorials, you'll see this noxiously long Colcon uh, build line. You don't need that. You really don't. All right, uh, we need a set of a workspace. And this is where we need to talk about something uh, after I do it. You'll see that I do something a little different. So um, I have this directory in my home directory called code. I like to use, I like to put all my code there. I'm working on, uh, we're just going to call this. And I need to use the, the tech key option makes so that it'll make like multiple levels of directories. So the tutorials and the source. Um, all right, uh, right. This next thing, we're gonna clone Move It Two and Move It Two tutorials. Except for we're not gonna clone Move It Two because we don't have to. It's released into Foxy. Um, you don't actually have to clone it. It's really useful to have a copy of it so that you can dig through the code as you're doing um, the tutorials and writing your own code against it. It's uh, but you don't necessarily have to build Move It To. It's a pretty big package. It'll take a long time to build. Um, the real advantage to having it around, though, is you can uh, go dig into the header files and stuff and, and figure out what the interfaces are and, and contribute back to it. But for the sake of today, we are not going to clone it. Uh, one other thing I want to point out is there's now a Foxy branch we have released for rolling in galactic and to do that we had to make some breaking changes to support the breaking changes in ross in those newer versions of ross and so there's a foxy branch this right here doesn't direct you to a foxy branch that's wrong um i made a pr to fix this and then this other guy Vuitton, like clean this page all up and there's an open pr about it and so this will be cleaned up soon but watch what i do not what it's on the tutorial page so if i do uh Oh, this other thing I'm going to show you, GitHub command line uh, client. You should be using it. So uh, there's this GitHub uh, repo clone. Uh, we want to clone the Move It To tutorials. That's in Ross planning. Move It To tutorials. Um, the next thing it has you do is using these BSS import things. Um, let's look at what's in those files. Uh, we're, we didn't clone Move It To. We just cloned those tutorials. If I cat the uh, move it to tutorials, move it to that. Move, Arbus Visual Tools is here. And it's important that we clone this. And the reason it's important we clone this is this isn't released for Foxy yet. So we can't install it through raw step or app. Um, it will eventually be released for Foxy. There are just some issues that we're still working through. So you can do a VCS import, uh, move it to tutorials move it to tutorials.repos, and that'll clone this Arbiz Visual Tools into So right now, right, we have move it to tutorials and Arbiz Visual Tools. All right, now we need to make sure we've um, installed all the dependencies. So we use raw step to install the dependencies. Um, right there on under build your Colcon workspace, you see what the command is. But here, I'm sure I can use control R to search for it. Um, because it always seems to be in a history and there's like basically one command you need. All right, all the raw steps are installed successfully. That means we're good to go to build. So the next thing is make sure you're in the workspace directory when you run Colcon. Colcon, unlike Catkin Tools, doesn't do any like searching for what the workspace directory is. And there's no profiles either. So uh, Colcon build. Now we get to use that mix-in thing. All right, well, you're wondering, what are the mixins? So first thing you can do is click on mixin, and then you can do help here to see what you can use. Um, but specifically what you want is show, and this will list 
all the different mixins that you can use. And the two that I want to point out that I care about are this one C cache right here. It uses this thing called compiler cache. It'll speed up your builds. And then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build debug. And I like having debug symbols around build. You know, you can build a release if you have to, but when you're learning build with debug, when you're de developing, it makes it really easy to go. And uh, when you have a seg fault or something to get the backtrace, you can do rel with deb info. If you, you have a performance reason to do rel with deb info or release, if you actually do have performance reasons choose where you need release to test that but so colcon build mix in ccache debug uh oh it's complaining um it shouldn't do that to you it's complaining because i walked through this once before and it's still my path it's no big deal all right it finished um then the next thing i need to do is i need a source I scroll down here, you'll see that's the next step. I have to source locally. So install setup.zsh. Um, I'm using zsh, the tutorials. There's a bash one if you want. Uh, that last thing, I wouldn't do that. Um, that's going to put the tutorials in your uh, environment. Every time you start a um, terminal, I, I don't know. Do what you want. But I wouldn't do that. So uh, here we are at the end of this video. This video was just on getting started. In the next video, I'm going to show you the PRs that are open for changing this page. Like we're going to talk about contributing to Move It To tutorials. And in that, you'll learn how um, when you find something wrong, there were some stuff wrong on this, how you can you can fix it and you make it right. So. Uh, on to the next one. If this has raised your Ross IQ, please like, subscribe, share. We need more contributors. We need uh, more users. Um, thank you for watching this. Have a great day.